Good day, everyone. I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. It is going to be a chilly night overnight, especially along and east of the Cascades, but even along the coast, we could see some freezing temperatures. We do have mainly fair conditions for now here in the Rogue Valley. However, later tonight, tomorrow morning, we could see some areas of patchy fog or possibly even some freezing fog coming up. On the wider shot, this is what's going on. We have high pressure that's in control off the coast here. Got a ridge pattern, and then there's a trough that's off to our south and southeast. This trough will be moving away. However, with this high pressure ridge in control, we should see a decent day for the most part on Tuesday, but it will start off chilly. So on Tuesday, there may also be some areas of fog or freezing fog, then more sunshine. Tuesday night to Wednesday, clouds increase. There's a chance for some showers on Wednesday. Snow levels, though, may start out around 2,000 feet on Wednesday morning. So what that means is we could even see some low elevation snow showers over the mountains. There will be more snow showers, and right now this storm system doesn't look really strong at this time, but there still could be some accumulating snow coming up for the mountains. Our pinpoint forecast here shows the clear conditions and very cold conditions overnight tonight into Tuesday morning. During the day, even if we start out with some fog or freezing fog, we will have more sunshine. The clouds start to increase Tuesday night into Wednesday with another storm system. This looks similar to what happened during the weekend. There's going to be some snow showers over the Cascades, over lower, lower elevations west of the Cascades. It should be mainly rain showers. However, it could even start out as some wet snow showers. Over the Cascades, the accumulating snow will diminish into the afternoon on Tuesday, or I should say Wednesday, and then we start to uh, dry out later Wednesday night into Thursday. Our forecast for the coast, I did talk about the cold temperatures, lows from the upper 20s through the 30s. Because of the cold temperatures, a freeze warning is in effect from 10 p.m. tonight until 9 a.m. Tuesday for the coastal areas of Coos County, North Bend. I have a low at 30, 53 for the high, 38 and 59 for Brookings. There could also be some areas of frost all the way down towards Bandon and possibly even into parts of Curry County. Maybe some morning patchy fog, otherwise mostly sunny conditions. You can see the highs in the 50s to possibly around 60 or so. Moving inland, it gets chillier with low temperatures in the teens and 20s and highs generally in the 50s to possibly around 60. Again, it's a chilly start, but we warm up uh, pretty decently into the uh, afternoon. I have 56 for Medford, 26 for the low. 19 and 52 for Wairika. Again, remember, we could start out with some patchy areas of fog or freezing fog Tuesday morning. East of the Cascades, chillier still. Lows in the single numbers and teens. Highs generally in the 40s to possibly around 50. I have it in the 30s up towards Crater Lake with the low at 9. Around Crater Lake, 1 to 4 inches of snow will be possible Tuesday night into Wednesday with that next disturbance. Patchy morning areas of freezing fog, otherwise sunny conditions. I have 13 and 48 for you, Klamath Falls. Seven day forecast for the Rogue Valley. Even if we start out with some morning freezing fog or low clouds, we'll see more sunshine during the day. There's a chance for showers on Wednesday and also a possibility during the morning of maybe a few wet snow showers. Another chance for showers on Sunday. You can see the drying trend uh, Thursday, Friday and Saturday with more sunshine. Even if we start out with some morning airs of low clouds or fog Tuesday looking good. Klamath Basin chilly starts though. There's a chance for snow showers late Tuesday night and Wednesday and another chance on Sunday and from out Shasta City, maybe some morning areas of freezing fog, uh, otherwise more sunshine Tuesday, a slight chance for rain or wet snow showers Tuesday night and Wednesday, drying out Thursday, Friday and Saturday, another slight chance for rain and snow showers on Sunday and for the coast, I have high temperatures generally in the 40s and 50s, some areas closer to 60 on Tuesday. Maybe some morning fog, otherwise more sunshine. There's a chance for showers late Tuesday night into Wednesday and another chance for showers on Sunday.